I gotta just come right out of the gate and say I've been confused by <laughs> a, a couple, by, by a couple <laughs> things because uh, like we spoke on the phone the other day. Yes. Like right after you reached out, and uh, I told you that I had seen you on TMZ yeah. and that the story was you just got out of rehab and that you're sober mm -hmm. and uh, 40 days today and, and, and 40 the, days the, congrats the, that's, that's great the story was also that the rehab you went to somehow encourages smoking marijuana yeah well about that well I went to a detox center first called Vita Nova shout out to them um, they don't allow weed uh, at that they just do the normal uh scheduled things they do that's in newport beach i was uh they gave me a scholarship actually so i don't have to pay um so i'm gr very grateful for the people at vita nova um and i detoxed for 30 days there got clean so i wasn't withdrawing when i went to the other place the place you're referring to the heavenly right. center which is uh steve labelle scott storch the producer gotcha um and a couple other people that run it and the heavenly center aka you know abbreviated thc you know, they don't force you to smoke weed. Uh, you know, they don't like, like, you know, like say you have to smoke weed to like get better. They just say if it helps, it helps. And I'm not a big weed smoker myself. Um, <clears throat> but that's what confuses me more because we saw, we went back and looked at that actual TMZ clip where uh, they, 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 I guess you were on Hollywood Boulevard or something. I was at Boa Steakhouse, Boa gotcha. Steakhouse, yeah. And you said in that clip to TMZ, you are like, I'm a big pot guy. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah. And, and okay, I, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to come clean. I smoke a blunt like maybe every, like I'll smoke two blunts a week. But okay. I was maybe I was just I was trying to like I mean, um, I mean whatever dude. I'm not mad at you yeah. I'm just like I was kind of I was kind of trying to shout out the Heavenly Center more because they reposted it so okay. I wanted them to think that yeah like the it, it helped me but out then, a lot but then just yesterday like you like you posted this thing with like like I I ate edibles and I got so zooted and loaded oh, oh no 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 that that's scripted that was scripted okay. uh, I just did a collaboration with uh, my good friends uh, that that make edibles and weed called Gassy and uh, so, so and, that was more of like a, and uh, we did a scripted thing I I don't I don't eat edibles I'll end up at the hospital on for edibles sure. you know what I mean and uh, we just did a a, a collaboration for uh, Keith World Joints and Delta 8 gummies, so they paid me to make that whole skit where I'm going in to in and yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, it looked and perfectly so, entertaining, I'm sure. Yeah, but I didn't, eat, I, I didn't eat any of that, but uh, I, did, I, do, I did smoke a couple of the joints, but it's not, like, my main thing. Like, yeah, I mean, hey, what, dude. Can, can I ask what, what you went what, to... Yeah, what was your main thing when you said you were, like, uh, detoxing? Like, what were you detoxing? Uh, like? When I went to Vita Nova, I was coming off of probably taking... Uh, 20 nothing it, there was no fentanyl in my system by the way uh these Why, were all, is that a rumor that's going around they had fentanyl? no 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 i'm just saying that there wasn't because usually people get fake shit you know what i mean yeah. everything's fake does on anybody the take fentanyl on purpose yes yeah oh, yeah, a, yeah 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 because yeah. it seems like it's all these like fake pills where they they, they cut with fentanyl they're the, the blue the little blue uh Perk 30s are like the most commonly faked ones. Well, I had a guy yesterday that was he was in rehab. He's like, I just went in there and he's like, everything's cut with it anyway, so I might as well just do fentanyl. And he's like, if that makes sense, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense the problem, at all. The problem with these fake pills is like, at first people didn't like them because they wanted what they wanted, you know what I mean? But now they like, they like, say, like, they like Xanax, so when they were getting fake Xanax, they didn't like it. But now that the Xanax has fentanyl in it, they're addicted, they they like the fentanyl and they're getting addicted to a whole nother substance, opiates. How common is it to have fentanyl in something that people are? It doing? is probably uh, 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 the things being sold in L.A. right now. I would say ninety five percent of everything is uh, every drug is cut with uh, fentanyl. Some so it's wow. like the fake pill where they press it. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. cocaine. It's it's everything. It's, it's, Heroin. It, that's what killed my friend Mac Miller. It was uh, fentanyl laced cocaine. Can but, you help us understand yeah. why on? Fucking! Uh, is why, it like they're why, making like with the cocaine and fentanyl? It's like it's like it's what they used to cut it. You know what I mean? Like how they like cut baby it. laxative or powder. Yeah, now yeah. they're doing fentanyl and, and, to make it stronger. And, and, and but. it makes it it makes their product a little stronger. But what the problem is is this is like you know with the labs wherever they fucking make it, someone adds two pounds more of the wrong batch, and then you got a deadly batch that's gonna hit the streets. 
you know what I mean? Like they 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 miscalculate because yeah. oh. they're in jungles. They're not in the laboratories. Right. Making it's like music. whoops, fucking yeah, whoops! I put a teaspoon in now. Yeah. Like, did I already put a that. cup yeah. in or did I not put a cup <laughs> in? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, crazy. Yeah, I wonder if they're trying to make people addicted to fentanyl. They are. You know, like get them off the coke and slowly introduce fentanyl and then all you're selling because is fentanyl. Because fun fact, fentanyl back like 20 years ago was like a very niche drug. It was only used as like anesthesia and pain medicine. It's like open heart surgery. Yeah. To keep people they, out for longer. Wasn't it like a, uh, on a patch and they would put the yeah, patch it was on a the patch. skin? It was a but patch. then people would like chew the patch instead of having it on yeah, their skin. Yeah, that's actually how it started. But like, wow. it, like if you would have went into a hospital 20 years ago, or no, not a hospital, a rehab, and said they would have been like, "What are you addicted to?" and said fentanyl, they would have been like, "What? What is that? Where did you get that?" <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, what? what um, so you didn't finish what you're saying. What? What did you go in for? Your 20 Vita milligrams Nova, of? I was taking about 20 Vicodins, or mm. what they call them, hydrocodons uh, now, and uh, about 10 10 Xanax a day. But everything was real because I was paying out of pocket for like old people on hospices scripts and you know because i i don't like fentanyl i've never been addicted yeah. to fentanyl myself what's old people on hospices like scripts? you know like like uh like when you're getting have, prescribed legit stuff at a legit yeah. business versus like scoring on the street because they have like one or two years left to live and and, right, right, right. and they want to make extra money so they sell it and stuff what's ah. what's the detox like uh from xanax is it like vertigo i heard it's kind of like your vision it, flips it's like okay like i've i've detoxed at my at my worst was probably november of 2020 um, I actually was smoking uh, Perk 30s, mm. um, real Perk 30s, still not fentanyl, and I was taking 20 fake Xans a day that I later found out were laced with heroin in it. And I remember uh, looking in the mirror one day and just being like, if I keep doing this, I'm going to die. Like, I could already start seeing, like, my cheekbones go in and stuff. And um, I'm sorry, what was the... The question was, because like when you're detoxing off opiates, you're kind of like flu-like symptoms, you're sick, you're nauseous. Yeah, you're it's like... Xanax is like... Okay, oh yeah, uh, I would much rather withdraw off opiates than Xanax because wow. um, uh, the two drugs that you can actually die from withdrawals from are alcohol and Xanax because you oh. can have seizures. Jesus. Oh, and you started yeah. having seizures, right? You were talking about that. Uh, no, last time I had a seizure was uh, November of 2020. I haven't had uh, any since. Okay, and was that seizure from quitting? Uh, going cold turkey off of Xanax. Right, yeah, right. opiate, opiate, op I don't even say. Opiates, like, you can lock someone in a room for like 10 days. They're going to go through hell, but they're not going to die. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? I mean, necessarily. Might, I have hunger or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hunger. Like, you don't feed yeah, that, them. The withdrawal's not going to kill you. It's like, you know, I they don't have a Dasani sandwich. water. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna uh, die. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so I went in for uh, about 20 Norgos a day and, and 20 real Zans. No fentanyl in my system. And it, it was a smooth process. Uh, it went well. Yeah, it was a nice good. facility. I, I did. I attended therapy and yoga and... What, uh, what brought about the decision to go in there? Was it like there was an intervention it, it, on you? It, it actually came uh, from just me wanting to change. Because uh, I, um, I felt like, you know, I'm 25 now. And I, I just couldn't do it anymore. Because I don't want to be... Because when you go into those rehab centers, there's people in their 50s that I've been there hundreds of times. And they always... And I've been to seven, you know, in the last, like, year. And... Um, they always tell me the same thing. You don't want to be this age in here. You want to nip it in the bud when For sure. you're younger. So, I got sober when I was 33. You know, something, something like, yeah, yeah, like that. So this time, I, I know for, I, I'm, I'm so strong-headed. I know I have it this time. Um, I, I would have loved to have gotten it sooner than 33. And um, strong-headed, <laughs> be careful with that. Yeah. Because like what it is 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 uh, surrendered, you know, like being you have, no, being you have strong to you have to be it. selfish, uh, completely selfish to yourself, and surrender to the program. Right. That's right exactly. Right. My dad is, is actually the one that told me surrender to the program because he was addicted to meth uh, for three years, like five years ago. He's been sober ever since, so uh, he relates a little bit, and he told me. This time you just gotta surrender completely to the program, and I did this time, and I it it helped out uh, tremendously. I feel I feel really good. Good. I'm way past the withdrawals. 
Um, I, my skin is uh, finally getting healthier looking, yeah. you know, like. Good, man. America. If you thought Jackass Forever was crazy, oh boy, do I have a show for you. It's a multimedia comedy show called The Bucket List Tour. And the stuff I filmed for this show is way too hot for Jackass. Like the general anesthesia bike ride, the vasectomy Olympics, and skyjacking. The footage is so intense, we have full grown men passing out at almost every city this bus goes to. So if you think you can handle it, get your tickets right now at stevo.com. Yeah.